Well, I got everything important already, so it doesn't really matter. And thank God we are out of that mist. Time to go to King Cola's court. Sorry if you can hear the bird. He's been pretty quiet overall, but he's just a little talkative. We'll just pretend it's the pets at Kitty Kingdom. What happens if you come here beforehand, or does, do you go to somewhere after this? Is the show us? What the hell? I'm confused. Oh, what the hell? I didn't think you'd make it this far. I can tell you're different than the usual invaders, so I'll not bother with the usual tricks and illusions I use to scare off the superstitious. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> when the bombs fell, everything changed. I'm sure it did, buddy. We changed, and somehow I received a gift. Oh, what the hell? Actual magic, the stuff of legend. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to see some. Uh, ah, no matter oh, what shit. You do, I can heal I my friend. And we will protect what is ours. Interesting. Oh my god, look at this dude. He's definitely got a lot about him. Well, sorry, Oswald. We're just gonna end this quickly. Because fuck you. Oh, what the hell? Does, does he not die? Did he live? Or did he just. Okay, complete search. Okay, we did that. Okay. Gage, I really wish the NPCs wouldn't talk during stuff like this. Anyway, that is kind of interesting. Okay, so because he's a glowing one, he can bring the other ones back to life when... The, well, I guess not entirely. Because if, if you blow off a body part, that doesn't heal. But the rest of it kind of does. So, to be fair, uh, in a way, he's kind of putting them in danger. He could he could still technically care for... God, all these stupid flavors out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, what did I get? A napkin? Oh no, I think I got I think I got the table knife. Oh great. <laughs> you know what, Gage? I, I hate this game. I'm not gonna open this one. Hey look, I got myself a Nuka Cola. Fuck! <laughs> Kid, you can have it. I'm sick of drinking that shit. <laughs> this guy is also having way too much fucking fun. He said he has actual magic, but I, at first I'm like, wait, like actual actual magic? But no, he's just a fucking uh He he's talking about his goddamn uh his glowing one powers, which do look, I gotta say, his face looks really cool. Even compared to, like, a glowing one. And eh, what do I use? You know what? He annoyed me. <laughs> so I think I need to just, you know, teach him a lesson. Teach him to never do this to someone ever again. Who would have thought we would have had a boss fight? are all the same. You come into someone's home, steal their belongings, and kill those they care about. I'm not going to let you kill any more of my friends. This is our home, not yours. <laughs> Yay, sarcastic. If these feral ghouls are your friends, I'd love to see who you consider your enemy. How ironic you should say something like that. We've defended this place for over 200 years. Do you think you're the first outsider I've met? That's chosen to brand feral ghouls as monsters. Ah, uh, they How are. How many of them have you needlessly slaughtered, while ignorantly thinking you're doing the world a favor? They attack people. What the fuck? Done talking. Attack. Nah. Uh, just leave. It's, it's been here twenty. Uh. Ghouls like your friends. It's too late for them. The radiation changed them. Forever. So you're admitting my friends are sick, and yet you try to kill them anyway? I'd say that makes you the only monster around here. It's not a sickness. The radiation has consumed their minds. They've become feral. You're wrong. Rachel is going to find a way to cure them. We're going to fix this. 
My beloved left this place years ago to find a cure to this disease. In return, I swore that I'd keep our people safe by defending our home. When Rachel walks back through those gates <laughs> with the cure gained. in hand, then you'll see, everyone will see, that I was right. I like how Gage is uh, talking in the background. But anyway, this kind of reminds me of, uh, what was it, uh, Season 2 of The Walking Dead? No, 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 remember, they thought rabies was a, or no, what, he said something, they thought this was a disease. And it's like, well, when, you, when, when you're so fucked up, you attack people, then there's a point where you have to be like, well, I have to defend myself. Uh, all right, I could convince him otherwise, but not really fuck this it. You're holding up the show. <laughs> it's obvious she thinks you're a lunatic and left you behind. How dare you say that about her? You'll pay for that with your life. Burn him down. I am curious what uh how you can do certain stuff. Let's see. Fuck you, bitch. Oh goddamn, I'm fucking filled with rads. Holy fuck. Don't worry, Gage. I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> this really isn't the best weapon, but I'm not kind of having too much fun. Thankfully, the light's showing up again. Goddamn. <laughs> this was definitely one of the worst things to deal with at night. Oh, fuck you, bitch. I don't usually vats with this, so let me do that. There we go. That's actually not bad. Though it... <laughs> I will say, it will always look bad in vats to do shit like that. And kablooey! Oh shit, what? Where did he go? Did he heal himself? Did I need to do more? Oh shit. Oh yeah, there's a lot of these guys now. Alright, we are. You know, let's stop being a pussy bitch. <laughs> oh, he's got the electric sword too, that's for certain. Oh, I'm starting to lose uh, parts of the power armor. I don't know. Fuck you, shit. Fuck you, shit. No. I do like the fact that he's pretty, uh... He does not fuck around. Come on, one more time. Aw, oh, did I hit him? I think I hit him. It's probably gonna... Yep, he's gonna do the thing where he disappears again. That's what happens to your friends. Yay, more of them. Okay, so do we just have to do this a few times, or...? I don't know if I should really aim for the head. <laughs> There we go. Nope, he's still alive. Damn. Something tells me he's still gonna be alive. Do I have to? Oh no, did I get him? No, I didn't. Damn it. Does this have anything to do? Nope. I was wondering if maybe that would like end the fight. Not quicker, but you know what I mean. Alright, fuck this shit. Spray and pray, even though that's not this weapon. <laughs> Throw that. Aw, oh, come on. Don't be a dick. Getting in my way. Oh, fuck. Let's see. What kind of explosives I have. Do you have some bottle cap mines? Though I think the plasma grenades will probably be best. There we go. Okay, you son of a bitch. Come on. Did, oh, did I get him? Did I finally get him? Holy shit. That took forever. Any more ghouls? Nope. Okay. God damn. Alright. Kitty Kingdom. The password. What kind of uh, stuff did he say? Reduce damage from humans. Okay, fair. And he's got a lot of... Uh, why is it Molotov cocktails when it's obvious he that's not what he's doing for his effect? Oh. No, I actually got a, fair, uh, a legendary one. Is that what you, you were fucking doing, Gage? When you weren't doing anything to help me, you asshole. <laughs> I gotta say, that's probably one of the toughest fights we've had so far in this game. Reduces damage while standing and not moving by 15%. Oh boy. Alright, time to override all this bullshit. You know, I gotta say, maybe the Disciples actually would have really liked this place. <laughs> Anyway, system access, uh, turn off mist sprayers, yes. How does it know it has radiation? I feel like that, that would be something they would skimp on. Alright, user logs. Let's see what we got here. Things are finally stable. It's been 50 years since the bombs. Oh, no, is this the same as earlier? Yeah. Oh, we know. Well, 
No, this is different. Okay. Uh, it's been 50 years since the bombs fell. We've, uh... We've seen some large groups come and go. Usually we've managed to scare them off or use the radiation sprayers to get rid of them. Seems like most of the attacks are just terrified of the clown makeup. It's kind of sad. They used to bring people so much laughter. On the whole, things are good. We have plenty of food, water, and even partial power uh, when we need it, which I'd imagine is a lot more than most others have. Even the mutation from the radiation storms hasn't uh, been that bad after we learned to cope with it. I'm glad Rachel's still alive. I think she's the only thing keep me together. Uh-oh, that's why this guy went fucking nuts. Can't sleep. I can't sleep. We've had to board up another person today. That's over 10 in the past year alone. I'm trying to keep everyone organized and keep everyone's spirits up since Kenneth, Mitchell, and Herman are gone. But there are some days I just don't want to even get out of bed. Uh, some even have even started talking about putting the afflicted out of their misery, but we put a stop to that talk pretty fast. We've been here a long time now, and these aren't just the people I've survived the war with. They're our new family. We've got to find some way to help them. Was that real magic? There was a big attack today, and Dean got hit by a spray of bullet. Uh, the thought of losing another of us caused me to snap, and suddenly it was as though the energy was literally flowing from my body. Okay, yeah, so I, I wasn't sure if it, if it was kind of... Maybe he had magic, but no, it's definitely just the glowing one powers. Uh, the Dean just shot up and gasped uh, for air. I hauled him, but I have no idea how. After the attack, it hit me. Was that some sort of mutation, or was it real magic? I mean, given the circumstances, who could tell the difference even if I had a scientific explanation? Does that really make it less magical? Uh, regardless of what I want to call it, maybe I can use my powers to help the afflicted. I mean, yeah, that's an interesting thing. Magic stops becoming magic once you understand it with stuff like science, honestly. It's kind of the best way to put it. Obviously, not always. Some, some magician tricks are always going to look crazy. Uh, but once you explain them, you're like, okay, well, it's not magic. It's just, you know, some guy's gone. <laughs> Unless you want to just consider magic as like a trick or swaying people. Uh, some big gang took out that group in Nuka Town this week. The gang looks pretty aggressive, so we decided to leave them uh, be for now. It's too bad uh, we had almost decided to make contact with the traders there, but now it took. Now it looks like we've missed our chance. Rachel is talking about one or both of us breaking from the group to try to find a cure somewhere else. But if the two of us leave, I don't know if there will be enough leadership to keep this place together. Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? There's no one else here. How long ago did Rachel leave? It's been over a year since Rachel left, and, I, and still no word. At home... Uh, there's nobody left, no one but me and the afflicted, and the gang of raiders next door. At first I was wishing that Rachel had stayed behind, but I kept coming to the conclusion that she did the right thing. No matter how much it hurt, she had to leave for the good of all of us. Only problem is that I don't know how much longer I can hold this castle. The walls are crumbling, the walls are crumbling, and I don't know how much longer uh, I can hold them up. I miss you, Rachel. Oh, that's actually really sad. The walls are crumbling, the walls are crumbling. I can't tell why he said that twice. All right, well, time to give this to a group. Oh no, it's still alive. Oh no. The glowing one powers work after death. I am still getting a radiant. Thank God I still have the right, the right away button put there. <laughs> that was the best decision I made. You know, it'd be really funny if it turned out this armor has less, uh... oh, is that guy still alive? That's probably why. I want to see if that stops spinning once I kill him. What? Why was that like a single bullet? Uh, that seems weird. Pretty sure they shoot, uh, well, I guess shotguns do sh shoot a single bullet that then turn the, to a bunch of shots. Weren't, uh, weren't, weren't, weren't some groups trying to say shotguns were considered immoral <laughs> during a certain time period? I do like seeing this guy set up. He's got his food, he's got his stuff, so this is kind of an interesting location. Though so obviously the rads are, uh, there's a lot there. Alrighty then, we got ourselves the signal flagpole. So, like I said, uh, since there's only, uh, I, I can't remember if you can only do two in one spot, but even if not, I just think it'd be ironic to give this one to the operators anyway, because the, I don't think the pack would like this. I think the disciples would have fun fucking with people. I do think the idea of, like, people who enjoy sadism doing it in a place that's supposed to be for kids kind of adds to that, like, level of it. But I think it's kind of a spit in the face of the operators to give them this one. So... Um, I don't know if this does affect anything, like, if you can give one at, at most three. So, therefore, um... Actually, no, I don't think you can. I think the idea is, is that you don't want to overdo it, or else the other two groups would be pissed off. So, yeah, it's probably only two per... So. But I still have another idea, which would be definitely more terrifying for the, uh, operators to have their hands on for a location. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I, honestly, I think the rest should be obvious who I'm giving to who at this point, but if not, then I, we can figure it out later. So anyway, here we go. Uh, I'm curious if the operators do have anything to say. I think we're done here. There's not really anything else left. All we have is the 
bottling plants, the and then the survivor place, and we're good to go. You know, I'm only not even an hour and a half in. And I missed the building. Um, I think I'm going to explore this area up here, because I think if that looks like what I think it is. This is actually um, one of the settlements we can get our hands on, and honestly, that wouldn't be bad. Uh, from what I remember reading, you actually can't have a settlement people uh, set, like, I can't have somebody from here uh, become a convoy to out to the Commonwealth, but you can vice versa. So that at least allow me to repair these types of armors a little bit quickly for the next two sessions that I do. If even two, it might even be. Uh, yeah, probably two. One, one to finish the next two locations and then something else. Oh, claim your hall from uh, Kitty Kingdom. Damn, so they already took control of it. They saw the flag and then let's fucking go. Alright then, guys. We are now here. Nuka World. Actually, wait. I can't do it. I think I actually have to wait till the power comes on. Yeah, the power has to be restored. What kind of bullshit is that? Fuck you, game. It is kind of funny how much this looks like ours at home, and it basically is very similar. Like, doesn't this feel a little uncanny, honestly? Hey, everybody, this is uh, Mike Judah II. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. Sarcastic Jerk Edition. God, after the bombs dropped in real life, it messed with here, too. Everything's gone. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, apparently this is a pretty big area. I don't think I'll honestly come back here after I'm done. Ooh, there's a fight going on up there. I can see what's going on. Like I said, there's a little... Just doing a little bit more exploring up here. Uh, I mean, something tells me we'll probably come back here. I don't know if this is a location we have to go for, uh... Because I, I guess we still have the other quests we have to do. So it's not just, uh... I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I had this weapon. I could have totally used this multiple times. Well, what do you do? I don't know what it is. When, I, when, I'm, when I'm scrolling through my weapons, this is always one I glance over. So, but there's just something weird about the idea of, um... Oh, yeah, this is Brad Burton. Okay, so this is probably where we're gonna go when, um... So there's probably robots and shit here. I probably don't want to explore this yet. But I have this one to do. I don't know if we get anything for the medallion. There, there, there's the, the medallion quest, but I have no idea where the... what that does. It doesn't seem anything obvious, that's for sure. Well, damn, I can't really do this then, the hell, huh? At least we're getting a sneak peek on it, but... Ooh! Is this what a working one's supposed to be? Are they always supposed to look like that? That's actually kind of interesting. Never thought about it that way. You know, I do think it'd be pretty cool if in like a future Fallout uh, game they do do one near a location that we've done for a DLC, so then we can kind of explore it a bit more as well. Because I feel like one based off the pit would be pretty good. I do remember reading that because uh, Microsoft bought Bethesda, which I don't know if I ever brought that up um, during this playthrough, but when Microsoft bought Bethesda, it did make me curious uh, whether or not, um, that's, a, that's a bathtub, okay, I was like, is that like a weird body or something? But um, it, it did make me wonder whether or not um, they were going to make, I'm uh, sorry, because they had both Bethesda and Obsidian, but I do remember reading something that there is like a new Vegas 2 being developed, somewhat anyway, so, ooh, what's here? Ooh, ooh, now that, ooh, holy shit, literally the weapon I'm holding we get a two shot of, nice. Does this one? I don't think this one has a special thing, does it? If so, I might actually uh, build this up next time. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Okay, well, yeah, I think we'll definitely uh, move over our mods from that one to this one, and then uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Because sadly, I'm out of I'm out of screws, so I can't really build anything anymore. Uh, I don't know if there's anything important over here, but we'll just fuck around until we're done. And I don't need any eggs. I have plenty of food, so we'll just kill them all, so I don't have to worry about it. Actually, I have a ton of fucking Molotov cocktails. Again, weird that they thought, oh, wait, this guy obviously has explosives. Oh, we'll just make it Molotov fucking cocktails. Uh, how about, no, because that's fucking stupid. He wasn't using a fucking cocktail. There we go. Wait, did that not even work? Bullshit. Yeah, whatever. They're not coming to life. What do I gotta be worried about? Oh, that's right, I forgot the Disciples have those uh, holotapes. We'll not forget. We'll, we'll, I will go there immediately so we can listen to those. I thought that I thought that guy was actually going to have a holotape. Whatever his name was. For some reason, my brain thought... Oh, nope. I'm over-encumbered. Rip. Uh, I have all of these things I will not use. There you go. That should do it. <laughs> Alright, it doesn't seem like there's anything interesting over here. I just figured I'd explore over here for a little bit. Oop, oop, oop. Not the hunters. Ugh. Actually, that guy didn't didn't hurt too bad. 
I know they often are a pain in the ass. Thought I was out of water there for a second. Like, I know I have food, but I just thought I was out of the other stuff. Alright, you SOBs. Where you at? Oh, nope, it's the babies. I can hurt the babies. Oh, no, here we go. I was about to say, where's that? Where's that legendary at? Can you give me another good weapon too? You die. You die. Cool. No, I don't want to lose track of that fucking legendary. Oh, of course. Well, lucky me. Dude, did we really get another safe cracker? Ugh. Perfect timing for me on this. Well, at the very least, this guy doesn't look strong, so... If it was a legendary, it might be a little more terrified. Eh, how about you just stay on fire? Nah, 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 stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh, of course. Uh, fuck. Nope, go down. Okay, cool, we're good. <laughs> Got a little worried there. <laughs> I went into the deep part, so my weapon went away, and it was like, uh... <laughs> Really wish I had my weapon out right now. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess the game wanted to give us another Myler Kling to fight. Just fucking die already. I want to fucking fast travel. Okay, we got it. Cool. God damn, we are almost at the same fucking level as we are when we fucking uh, left. Oh, yeah, I can claim my hull. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it, honestly. I doubt it's a useful hull. Anyway, we are coming to the end of the session, and I think I am going to be calling it quits. Uh, again, I know this isn't a long session. Probably only going to get, like, three episodes out of this. Actually, this is kind of normal for what I usually do, so I don't know what I'm bitching about. I didn't. Dropped off my shit. I should probably take a nap since I'm dying right now, but I can do that off screen, so. All right. Let's go back to the location that we did not just give the place to. We gave them to the operator, so. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Ooh, so edgy. It does make me laugh that, like, it really tries to make it seem like these games are, these gangs are a major faction, but really, like, the, the whole idea that at least sounds like with Gage, we were supposed to be the ones, like, you know, being the leader of the fucking raiders and telling them to do shit, but that really does not happen at all. Alright, time to go up to that southern girl's place and see what her tapes are about. God, I hope they're not ones I have to read. <laughs> <laughs> not that I don't mind reading them, but I'm just like, I, I kind of expected them not to be. Alright, let's see. Dixie's Souvenir. Gotta make sure I press the right button. Bruce, Sammy just came back with this girl Dixie and brought the best news ever. She said she comes from a place where we'll be safe and protected called Nuka World. Finally. I am so tired of trying to live out here on our own dealing with raiders and finding food and just surviving we're packing up to leave and we're out of here I, I wanted to leave this message for you it's awfully sweet of y'all to welcome a stranger into your home uh, you've no idea how happy we are that we ran into you not as happy as I am what are you doing wait I thought you were here to Kate, run! Sam, no! What have you done? Oh, don't worry, honey. I'll never keep two lovebirds apart. No! No! Ah, that went well. What's this? I think I'll keep you as my little souvenir. Okay, well, Dixie's a a, a, a cunt. <laughs> oh wait, I can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> Trade in this area seems pretty scarce. I'm thinking of packing it in and heading back to the Commonwealth. We lost one of the Brahmins to some damn rad scorp the other day, and I think Emmy's coming down with something. The rest of us are just at each other's throats, tired of traveling and barely running into any business. This whole plan was a bust. As it is, we barely got enough to pay for our losses. Hey, are all y'all traders? If so, I know a pretty good post nearby. Guarantee you'll turn a profit if you want to check it out. Yeah, well, 
Not sure we want to trust anything some stranger in a mask told us. You sure you're not some sort of raider? I ain't Great detective raider, work. And I only wear this mask on account of some Yao Gua wanting a piece of me a while back. It's up to you folks. If y'all are interested, Nuke World's just a short trip north. Can't miss it. Just tell them Dixie sent you, and they'll treat you and yours like y'all are family. Hmm. We'll talk about it. Thanks for stopping by. Maybe we'll have to check out this Nuka World outpost before heading back. Could be worth a shot. I'll have to talk with the others and hope no fights break out this time. So, okay, okay, I see, obviously I see her souvenir, she's sadistic. By the way, holy shit, I'm like, oh, there's a head in here, and I turn on the light, and I just realize this entire room is just filled with fucking blood. Holy shit. That's definitely a horror room moment. That, that's like a horror movie moment. But, like, she killed the first two on this one. What the fuck? I thought she was going to keep them as slaves. Like, this one, it kind of makes sense. At least, you know, slave raider type shit. I had it out with that disciple chick again today, Anna. Tired of her always winning. She's got better aim better comebacks, even packs a better punch. Well, not for long. Fuck these rules, I'm going after her. Then, when she's floating face down in the swamp pond, we'll see who's better. I can't wait to see. What the hell? How'd you get in here? What? A girl's got her ways. I'm just here because Anna's big into helping Nisha keep the peace between all us gang. Me? Not so much. Don't tell me you're afraid to get a little blood on What you. the hell? That should keep you quiet till I get you back to Fizz Top. Oh, were you recording this just for little old me? You operators are such sweethearts. Interesting. So sick of Nuka Cola. <laughs> I wonder, can you talk to Dixie after this? Dixie. If I hear these pack of animals talking trash one more time, they're gonna wake up short a few body parts. I wanna know what you look like. God damn, she's tough. Well, that didn't work. Uh oh. Anyway, I want to take her face mask. She didn't get hurt at all. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> We are now enemies of all the gangs in Nuka World. Yeah, yeah, I know. God, she was actually a fucking pain in the ass to take down, even after a crit to the head. Should have used the double shot. But anyway, yeah, that's your, that's your, uh, the, there's me showing the alternative path where we become the bad guy to the bad guys, which I would assume makes us good, but if I've heard it, if I've seen anything about history, if we, we can tell that that's not always the truth. <laughs> All right, anyway, guys, it seems like we are good to go now. I think we are finished. Not much, really much else to say or do. Hopefully this lunch is a little bit of talking wasn't too bad. I guess if it is, I can always re-record this session. It's not like it was honestly anything crazy. Uh, that was fun, but honestly, that's probably the lamest this session's been so far. So, but anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this session. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike Duny the Second. signing out. Take it easy, everybody. Uh, next time, I think we're either going to take on... Mm, I think we're going to do the nuka Cola bottling plant because this has, I think, uh, one of the last two star cores I needed. I'm pretty sure it was the two I needed. Uh, but I think this has one of the last two uh, star cores that I need to show off for you guys. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike Jr. the Second, signing out. Take it easy.